Are the Modified Brain Injury Guidelines, aka MBIG, really safe? Well, there was actually a recent multi-center study that Sanjay and Mike broke down in our December EMA. Let's check out a clip. At the end of the day, they observed there were fewer CT scans and neurosurgery consults performed after the MBIG implementation. Hospital and ICU length of stay were also shorter after MBIG implementation. There was no difference seen in the rate of clinical or radiographic progression, neurosurgical operations, or mortality between the two groups. After MBIG implementation, this is sort of what everybody's really interested in. You know, did we miss anything? Eight patients, 1.6% of the total, worsened clinically. Two were MBIG-1 category, and six were MBIG-2. Of those, six patients that clinically progressed were discharged with a GCS score of 15 without needing neurosurgical intervention. 